What's up guys, my name is Ace, and with the Mayhem Team Deathmatch game mode now live in Infinite Warfare, I thought it was a great time to share 5 tips that you might not know about for dealing with score streaks in Infinite Warfare. These tips aren't limited to the Mayhem game mode, but they will help a lot more because there's a lot of streaks in this mode. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so let's hop right into the list. And first up, a lot of people know this, but there's still a bunch of people that don't. If you want to be able to reload your launcher in a life, the way to do that is with Synaptic's Rewind Payload. Every time you use Rewind, it replenishes all your ammo for everything, and that includes launchers. So this is great if you're trying to stay alive yourself while also picking off score streaks in a life. This is an excellent tactic that you can use. Moving on to number two, dealing with vultures. A lot of people don't really know how to deal with vultures aside from pop a blind eye class on there and try to shoot it. And this score streak can be pretty annoying to die to even though it did catch a bit of a nerf. The easiest ways in my opinion to take out a vulture is first off with a jammer grenade. A lot of people didn't realize a jammer grenade is like an EMP grenade against a vulture. You just throw it somewhere near that vulture and it doesn't stand a chance. It's going to be destroyed instantly, very very easily. Jammer grenade works excellent. Now, if you don't have a jammer grenade, I highly recommend using P-Law launchers to deal with score streaks, and one of the reasons is it's also great for vultures. But that vulture is often a really hard target to hit directly. All you have to do is try and find a situation where that vulture is going to be somewhat near a wall, and then shoot that wall as the vulture is coming around that corner towards you. And oftentimes, you'll not only kill the vulture, you'll also kill the player that's controlling the vulture. It's an excellent tactic for taking those out. So jammer grenades and P-Laws are great for vultures. Moving on to my third tip for dealing with score streaks, and this one really applies to the Mayhem game mode. You can use streaks to counter streaks or to destroy other streaks. And the big ones I'm thinking of are going to be Trinity Rocket, Scorchers, as well as Bombardment. All of these streaks will take down a Warden very effectively. Unfortunately, Thor can't be touched by Bombardment or Scorchers based on my testing, but you can do a lot of damage to a Thor with a Trinity Rocket. It won't destroy it completely, but it will do a lot of damage to a Thor. But when somebody calls a Warden in, especially in Mayhem because you know there's going to be some Wardens called in, I love having a Bombardment on there just as that backup just to destroy Streaks because it's great against Wardens, great against Shock Sentries, it's great against RC8s, and it potentially is great against Apexes, although the Apexes can often get out of the way in time if they're really paying attention and they see that Bombardment coming in. Getting into number 4, this is something that I feel a lot of people overlook, and that is Cold-Blooded is often required to counter certain streaks. Most people think if you put Blind Eye, you'll be pretty much safe from every single streak in the game, and that's just not true. A big thing that Blind Eye doesn't do is it doesn't remove that thermal targeting systems. It does counter AI streaks very, very well, but as soon as a player is controlling a streak, they'll have that thermal targeting system in like a Thor, for instance, and I believe in the Apex mode as well, you can have the thermal targeting system mode. If you're running cold-blooded, you'll be practically invisible to them, and as long as you stay away from teammates, you should be just fine. So especially in the Mayhem game mode, because there's almost always going to be at least one enemy Thor called in every single match, Cold-Blooded is very effective against this, just make sure you're staying away from your teammates, otherwise you might get unintentionally killed. So finally, for the fifth tip, this is something that I've covered in the past, but I feel like a lot of people that watch this video will have missed that video. This is a little trick you can use with the P-Law launcher, and this is another reason I highly recommend using a P-Law. You can fire the P-Law very, very quickly. If you use this little tip, all you have to do is every time you fire the P-Law, the moment it goes off, double tap your swap weapon button. So PS4 it's going to be triangle, Xbox is going to be Y. Double tap that swap weapon button really, really quickly after you fire, and you'll be ready to fire immediately again. This allows you to get three shots off on like a Warden or an Apex or an RC8 nearly instantly. And it's one of the most effective ways to take down streaks. Another thing with the P-Lot, you don't have to worry about locking on to anything. You might have to lead your target a little bit, but you don't have to worry about locking on at all. So therefore, this is one of the fastest ways that you can deal damage to score streaks without using a payload or another score streak yourself. So there we have it. That's five tips that I have for you guys that you guys might not know about for dealing with score streaks in Infinite Warfare. If you guys have any other tips that are not really known, I'm not talking about like just use blind eye on your class or use engineer on your class or anything like that. If you have any tips that people might not know to help them deal with score streaks, let us all know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.